In this video, we will discuss more problems on percentage yield and percentage purity of the reaction. We can take first example that calculate the mass of KCl produced from one mole of KClO3 if percentage yield of reaction is 80. So first we will write the balanced chemical reaction for this that decomposition of KClO3 into KCl is given by this. So obviously from 2 moles of KClO3, 2 moles of KCl will be formed. So 1 mole of KClO3, 1 mole of KClO3, 1 mole of KCl will be formed. So we can say that 1 mole of KClO3 or 74.5 gram of KCl is formed. So this 74.5 gram of KCl or 1 mole of KCl is as per the 100% of reaction. We can say that it is theoretical amount or theoretically yield. So definitely it is given that the percentage yield of reaction is 80%. So, according to the 80% yield of the reaction, amount of KCl in moles, 1 into 80% of this, that will be equal to 0 0.8 moles or in terms of mass, we can say that 74.5 into 80%, which will give on solving 59. 6 gram. Now we can take one more example to explain the concept of percentage parity. Calculate the amount of lime CaO in kg that can be produced by heating of 200 kg limestone that 90% pure calcium carbonate. So first we will write the balanced chemical reaction for this. This is limestone and the decomposition reaction for the limestone can be written as like this. So obviously from the stoichiometry, uh, one mole of calcium carbonate on heating gives one, one mole of calcium oxide, which is lime. Uh, now this is given that 200 kg of limestone. So first we will find the moles of limestone that will be 200 kg because the 200 kg of limestone is given and the 90% pure. So first we will find the mass of calcium carbonate pure that should be equal to 200 into 90 percent which is 180 kg so the mass of the pure calcium carbonate which will take part in the reaction that will be equal to 180 kg now we can find the moles of calcium carbonate pure that should be equal to 180 into 10 to the power 3 because mass is given in kg. So we will convert this into gram divided by 100. This will give 1800 gram. Right? So, sorry, 1800 moles. 1800 moles. So now for 1 mole of calcium carbonate, 1 mole of calcium carbonate will produce one mole of calcium oxide so with respect to 1800 moles of calcium carbonate 1800 moles of calcium oxide will be produced so this is the amount in moles of calcium oxide we can multiply the uh, given moles which is 1800 moles by its molecular mass then we will get uh, 100 point 8 kg definitely the calcium oxide calcium oxide uh, if we will say that calcium oxide ka molecular mass that will be equal to calcium 40 plus oxygen will be 16 right so definitely it will be 56 so we will multiply the 1800 by 56 to get the amount of calcium oxide lime which is uh, uh, which is obtained by 90% pure calcium carbonate 200 kg in the next question it is given that calculate the mass of coal sample in kg mass of coal sample 
is required to calculate which contains the 0.05% mass of iron pyrite FeS2 that can produce 44 point liter of SO2 at 1 atm in 273 kelvin with 40% reaction yield so first it all the 44.8 liter of SO2 is given at 1 atm in 273 kelvin which is the condition of ntp so simply we can calculate the moles of SO2 produced 44.8 divided by 22.4 this will give 2 moles of SO2 now the mass of coal sample in kg is required to calculate so we can say that mass of coal sample is x gram which contains 0.05% of iron pyrites which will be equal to WFES2 and now x is required to be calculated and the mass of FES2 we will calculate by using this equation right so from the stoichiometry that uh, to produce two moles of SO2 one mole of FES2 is required to react with oxygen so for one mole of SO2 obviously half mole of FES2 is required and because 2 moles of SO2 is produced so for 2 moles of SO2 definitely 1 mole of FES2 is required 1 mole of FES2 yeah we can say that 120 gram of FES2 which is the molecular mass of iron pyrites uh, it is required now we can relate uh, this term with the percentage yield to calculate the mass of coal sample first at all uh, uh, because this is the 120 gram of mass which is uh, of iron pyrites is according to the 100% of reaction so it is required to calculate as per the 40% of reaction so amount of FES2 that will be equal to uh, theoretical amount which is 120 upon given percentage yield this will give 300 gram this is the mass of FES2 according to the 40% reaction yield we can put this mass uh, 300 uh, at this place now we can solve this and we can solve for x on solving for x what you will get x will you will get a 600 gram so this is the question this is the these are the problem based on the percentage and, and percentage parity in the next video we will discuss about the problems related to the mixture and sequential reactions thank you very much